attractive opponents here <laughs> have been misdirected gravely into believing that being attractive and popular are better than being intelligent and smart. How? When my colleague Krishna said that being attractive is a perception, what I perceive as attractive, what I perceive as beauty, might be different from yours. What is attractiveness anyway? Skinny? Curves? Fair skin? Those are all subjective things that we've implanted our brains as we grew. Those are extrinsic things that we should be focusing on, are the intrinsic things. Things that we measure, we measure IQ, we don't measure being beautiful. He rightly said also that the people who move and shape the world, the people who've been given Nobel Prize awards, who change it, make a difference. Martin Luther King, in his speech, did not say, I have a dream that I have six pack abs. <laughs> <laughs> because of this, they became famous. Ladies and gentlemen, want to be famous? Be smart. Want to be popular? <coughs> be attractive. The choice is yours. Now, let me finish my point by saying that beauty fades. When your beauty fades, when the cosmetic surgery fades, what's left? This. And what will this be? Your legacy. Over to you. <laughs>